What's going on guys, I'm Bill and welcome to Bill's How To. Today I'll be showing you guys how to install roof racks. We've got here a Mitsubishi Triton, which is an L200 or an L300 in some countries. Okay, so basic roof racks. All I've done is just pulled them straight out of the packaging right now. I've got here the Pro Rack series and also you have to purchase a fitting kit. So the fitting kit is basically clamps because I'm using the clamp on system rather than screwing it straight into the roof. Um, these are the roof racks that I've got. Okay, so these ones here, the reason why I've picked them, 100 kilo rating uh, for the pair, so that's 225 pounds. Um, also, they've got rubber on the top, so that means that I'll be able to mount anything onto there um, without being worried about it's going to get damaged. Also, it's got a tie-down point on the end, which very rarely do you find roof racks with tie-down point ready to go. That's the reason why I've purchased these ones. Now, these ones came straight out of the packaging, just like that, with the feet already assembled. Okay, so all I've done is simply taken off that cover right there. With the set of keys so that cover was on the end here just turn the key and that simply pops off behind the cover there was two sets of uh, keys one is an allen key or an allen wrench this one here i'm not too sure what it is yet we're going to find out soon let's get started all right so you have to read the instructions because the fitting kit is different for every car now these ones here have got the front and the rear the front is different sizing to the uh to the rear so the front one is 890 millimeters between the feet so between the feet meaning from here to here okay easy way to measure this up so that you make sure you have um, even distance on either side of the feet okay so if you just measure the entire length of the uh, roof rack okay and then center it so take the measurement that you've got divided by two and put a marking like i have done right here and this is going to be my center point to work either side so the measurement here was 890 millimeters this one here is for the front roof rack okay so we've got 890 millimeters divide that by two we've got 445 so if i take my center point okay and measure up from each foot 445 which i have done so here okay and same on the other side 445 so these ones here are ready to go all you need to do is on the back of this there is a screw okay so if we have a look at that top screw right here just make sure the GoPro is focused all right so that top screw right here you have to loosen that halfway and that's how you move the foot back and forward so if we simply press on that screw now we're able to slide the foot back and forward up until our point where we've marked it so right now i've marked this one right here i'm not sure if you can see it there's a little pencil marking so i just want to make sure that that's butted up right up against there and then we simply tighten that up and we do that for every single foot okay so this one here 890 so we've got the measurements on this one here the feet are ready to go and the other uh, rack I have to do the exact same however the other one is 870 okay so i'll have to put a slightly different measurement on that one okay so once you've got both of them done next thing you want to do is down the bottom of your foot you've got this little lug right here we want to just unscrew that so that we can put our clamps in place it's making sure that's completely out of the way So just undo that just like that and pull it out to a side we'll do the same for all of them now what we'll be doing is simply slotting these into position and they sit just like that so you, as you can tell that's where the screw goes through on the other end so we'll put it in like that and then put the lug back in place all right so once you've got these in place next thing you want to do is get your rubber boots this is to protect your car so that this isn't hard up against it and they have little slots on the back so they simply slot into place just like that press them in firmly make sure they're all in do the same for the rest of them and you need to measure them into place so the measurements are different depending on your car this one here was from the center of the pillar okay you measure 750 out and for the front it was 50 mil measured from also the, from the center of the pillar so what i've done i've just put a little marking over here so i know that is where the center location is going to be okay and we simply do the rest on the other side with your fitting kit comes stickers now these clear stickers here are to protect the paint from any rub marks that might happen okay so pull all these out these are very important and what you want to do is simply peel them off and put them in position so that we protect the paint while these mounting points come in place so we want to wrap this around as much as possible
just like that. All right, so now you can line it up perfectly in place, just like that, and get the other side lined up. I'm the screw them in. So doing a little bit on each side at a time, so we make sure we've got an even load on both sides of the pillars. Perfect. Test the front line out. Beautiful. Once you're done, put all your tools back the way they were, and it's time to clip on these end caps. You have it guys, once it's done, that is the roof rack ready to go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If there's anything else you guys want to learn how to do in or around your house, put it in the comment section below and I'll be happy to show you guys how to do it. Until next time, I'm Bill. Thanks for watching Bill's How To.